All right, we're gonna do a advanced uh, lesson on cloaky ships, how we get around in cloaky ships, how do you get around null sec. Um, this would be really good in Astero. This is good in Tech 3 cruisers. A lot of people travel in Tech 3 with nullified and cloaky. We're not going to do that. I usually don't do nullified. I think it takes away from the stuff. But if you bring a mobile depot with you, you can switch stuff out and get a battle ready on the fly. Do your 1010s. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm in Villison right now. And uh, we are going to plan out what we're going to do. So here's Dotland. You're going to do Dotland. You're going to accept these cookies so you can check this out. You're going to click that black button, the Eve button there. Come on, give me that dark. There we go. When you're playing at about 4 a.m. in the morning, that's way easier on your eyes. Um, you're going to come over here to Sovereignty. You're going to check out uh, Jumps for the past hour. That's going to tell you how many people are moving through systems. 55 here. You want to go camp? That's a good place. Uh, or it might be a fleet move through there. You're going to check out Jump Ships and Pod Kills. This will tell you if there is a gate camp. If there's like 10 chip kills in the past hour, there's probably a gate camp there. Uh, and that's how you're going to get around. You're not going to jump into a gate camp. And if you do, there's still ways around this. There's a way to jump gate to gate in a Stratios, in a Stero, in a Loki, Tengu, Legion, Proteus. Uh, I usually, I'm preferring the Stratios right now. So let's do it. First thing first, uh, undock. You're going to have an instant undock ready. This uh, overview is going to be all messed up because I switched to my uh, 1080 monitor for the recording. Um, first thing we're going to do... Get out of here. We're going to say spot. Warp out there. You can see that overview is way massive. Drones are way massive. Um, that's all. We're not going to use any of those. And as soon as we're warping, we're going to go cloak. We're going to pick a spot, say we want to go hunting, we're going to check out that live feed NPC kill delta. Ooh, G6 tech 4 doing some stuff? Um, looks like it's all going down, maybe 133 TN. We'll just go ahead and do NPC kills. Uh, I want to go deeper than that, so we'll, we'll take 8 R tech. Route eight R tack. Five jumps. Hey man, that's new. That, and that is useful. Cool. Alright. Set Desto. So there's nothing gonna be on gate. We're just going this is low sec. There's not gonna be any bubbles on gate. You can just go ahead and warp to Akakaikin. Sorry, four minutes. I'm trying to keep these short. Because I don't have a lot of patience. I, I, I had, um, Even when I watch videos, I just kind of jump around. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Give, give me the essentials of what I need. And that, that'll be all. Um, usually, I should be... Uh, I have an overview setting for recording... Ah, cool. Hecate is jumping with me. We got banners now? Hell yeah! Man, I did not expect an update. Alright, so we'll do this real quick. This is what's going to happen so we don't interact with this Hecate. Come over here, right click a line, or approach, orbit. We're going to click that o approach over here. 
And when I click that, then I'm going to click warp. That's F2. And, excuse me, cloak, warp, which is F2. And we're going to do micro warp drive, which is F1. We're going to click those together. Approaching. Click both those together. I start speeding up. I get out of there. I get cloaked. They can't lock me. They have to decloak me. I'm already going pretty fast. And by the time that, uh, oh yeah, got to warp. Forgot about that. You can do this a lot faster by instead of clicking uh, a line, you can click uh, warp. Warp's going to be your S button. Approaches your Q button. Get used to using those hotkeys. Makes things easier. But you don't have to. You can use a mouse click. If uh, I, I played mouse click for for like a year, possibly two years. I still use it. It's it's uh, it's nice to have two different. But if you're in a real hurry, all right. So warp to it. We're gonna jump. Jump's gonna be your D key. Same issue here. Um, there's nothing going to be on that gate stopping us, so we can warp right there. Hold D, click, F1, F2. Get your cloak, get your warp drive on. Um, that's a micro warp drive goes for one cycle with a cloak. That gets you out of where you originally spawn. It makes you a lot harder to track. Um, if you end up in a bubble, you click out of the bubble, double click out of the bubble. Turn on your cloak, turn your micro warp drive, burn out of the bubble. They probably will not decloak you. And if you're checking dot land for where ships are getting killed, you're probably not going to run into a gate camp. Anyways, Nullsec is very, very empty. You'll, you'll have like one system with 13, 30 guys in it. And all around that, it's only going to be like two or three people per system. Like right now, local, one person. And we're not even in Nullsec yet. I mean... We are a null sec. Holy shit. I, I fucked up. Damn it. Anyway, so we checked out land. Not a big deal. I wanted to show y'all something else. And that's if there is a gate camp, if there is bubbles on these gates, how to get past that. And for that, we're going to have to open up the solar system map. Alright, so there's two people in system. I don't trust system. They might be waiting on a drag bubble on Y tech. Y I tech. So what we're gonna do, open up your solar system map. Look at Y tech Y tech I I tech. Come over here and you see all these warp points we can go to. Uh, around it, that's pretty close. So we'll warp within 100. Turn on your cloak. We don't have to do a micro warp drive if nobody's around. Um, it's good to practice though. But it might slow down your warp time. The point of that is just to move where you cloak. Um, and it's really difficult to tell where you're deciding to go when you cloak and turn that micro warp drive on. You're going to move past the 250, uh, 2,500 meters from where you started your cloaking. They're going to aim where you start your decloak and burn that way, and you're ar already going to be past, far past that. So they kind of have to guess where you're going to go. <sighs> Looks like somebody was here. Turn around. Hey, there's a Proteus. All right. So we could get into a fight with a Proteus. Um, he's probably confident enough to try to fuck with me, but... Excuse me. shouldn't say fuck on YouTube. <laughs> probably get away with saying it twice probably gonna re-upload this later turn your angle down you should probably know how to descan if you're watching this click that see if there's anybody oh there's a vni over there hmm do you think we can get past the vni yes i do think we can get past the vni we're gonna click jump because we also did not see like a uh whatever a mobile uh warp thing and even if it was the mobile warps are going to be between the gates and because i already warped to uh you know, uh, someplace that's not in line with the gate, we're gonna be fine. So we can get it, get over here where we see that V and I. Ah. Hmm, not there. Did it jump? It might have jumped. 
See, there's a lot of things to pay attention to. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing, but once you get in the habit of doing this, you can freely move through Nullsec and a cloaky cruiser. Hopefully somebody's going to be on the gate on this side and we can... Nope. Just uh, V&I again. Still going to 8-TAC-R. Uh, it's within D-Scan range. Click D-Scan. We do not see any... Uh, pff, mobile warps. D-Scan Hunter. What's going on? Federation Navy Ogres. Caldari Navy Wasps. Nice. I might be able to pick those up later. Come out here in a combat scooter. Scoop those up. That's about a good few million-esque. Anyway, same deal. We're going to jump. Warp drive. Cloaky. Get used to doing that. And always, check your dot land. Make sure, check where we're at. Make sure where we're going. Check for pod kills. Jumps. And you should be able to get through no sec just fine. In a cloaky cruiser. Have no fear. We're half fear, but you can relax about it. Alright, thanks.